So when you want to use someone else's work, the work is A. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. How do I get permission to use someone else's work? This is a uh, question that people should ask themselves. It's not something that uh, people random ask, but when you have something or you want to use something for someone else that you did not create, ask yourself, how do I get permission to use that work? Yeah. So that's why this question is something you need to ask yourself a lot. So how do I get permission to use someone else's work? There are three ways and two looked familiar, the same, similar. So they are the similar, but technically it's, it has the same thing. But what you need to keep in mind is at the end of the day, you need to ask. Yeah, that's why two and three look the same. So why is it important to get permission? If you look at how trademark, um, copyright works, so if you look at the copy, copyright work, you have A, B, and C. This is a system that you always have in the intellectual system, intellectual uh, property, intellectual property system. Someone create a work, someone is the owner of the work, they call it copyright holder in this case, author, doesn't matter how you call it, you always have that person, and someone else needs to use it. So that someone else, you have three ways of getting permission. One, the copyright holder put on a website or whatever, they give you a permission. What they say is, you're allowed to use my work under these conditions. You're allowed to use my work under these conditions. So what most people hear only is, you're allowed to use my work. They do not look at the requirement or the condition. And that's wrong. So first thing first is, you get a permission from the copyright holder. They put it on the website and on the website you can see what the permission is. People that uh, do those things are most of the time musicians. An example of them is Nefax. At the beginning of this uh, stream or video, whatever way, it doesn't matter where you see it, you will hear a video of Nefax. They are saying, hey, listen, you are allowed to use my music if you meet these requirements. It's that simple. That's an example. Another example is where you can get, how you can get permission. Just ask. Just go to the copyright holder and just ask for permission. It's that simple. But most of the time you'll be like, hey, I cannot find out who the copyright holder is. What do I do? Look for another work. Don't waste your time. Look for something else. If you really want to use the work, go look for uh, what it is. But so the second one is just ask. It's just simple. Just ask. Yeah. The third one is get a license. Yeah. So these two, technically, here you ask. Number two, you ask. One, you get a license, but there is a difference between one and three. Technically, they are both a license. Technically, all of them are a license. They are both a license, but there's a different. Number one, you get it on the condition. You cannot change the condition. Number two, number three, I mean, number three, you get it, but you get an agreement. You can accept the agreement or not. It's an agreement most of the time. Most of the time you need to sign it. Or sometimes you don't. You just accept it by buying something. You just accept it. For example, if you go to stock photography, uh, video, pound five, doesn't matter. If you buy a license, you accept the license. So when you buy a picture, when you download a picture, you accept the license. Most time you cannot change it, but sometimes doing negotiation, if you're a big case or whatever, you can change the agreement or you can change which license you want to get. But if you ask, there's room for negotiation. So you have here three ways of getting permission. How? Ask. Two, sometimes they give it beforehand. And three, okay, you can get the license. Another example of number one is Pixabay. Pixabay is where you can get pictures. You can use those pictures, but they have on their website how, you, how you're allowed to use those pictures. You see the license on their website. I showed it in another video on my channel. 
So you have here three ways of how you can get permission, how, why it's important. So if you are C and there's a copyright holder, so when you want to use someone else's work, the work is A, that someone else is B, and you are C, you need permission. If you don't ask permission, trust me, you're gonna pay a lot of money. And I don't want to be your lawyer when you have to do that because I'll be like, hey, you didn't ask permission. But sometimes there are room for negotiation and you need to look out for it. I'm not saying every time if you don't ask permission, you're in a bad spot. But what I'm saying is if you don't ask permission, why you should ask permission and you know about that, you're doing something stupid. You understand? And if I'm a you, uh, I wouldn't waste money on those kind of things. Just do what needs to be done. And if you really want to use something for someone else, contact the person. And don't do it through agency. Agency wants to earn money. And if you don't have enough money, try to get in hold in contact with the copyright holder. If you cannot leave it behind, go do another stuff. Yeah. And if you really cannot get something else, yeah, make sure you have the money to back up for for it. It's that simple. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not going to go around or whatever. I'm just going to tell you this is true, this is how it works, and this is how you should deal with it. Yeah. So if you have question about it, what you can do is just go in the law center, you can ask me a question directly. Just join the center and uh, send me a DM and uh direct message, yeah. Send me a DM and then I will see what I can do for you. And sometimes in the law center, we have some legal uh, session and it's free. You can get some free legal advice. If you want to know when that is, you just press here, free legal advice. You come into the law center and you will get notified when there is um, a free legal session. And yes, if you find this information useful, feel, feel, feel free to buy me some coffee. But um, here we are working on a podcast soon because uh, it's coming soon. So um, I think at the end of the week and in the podcast, doing the podcast, we're going to discuss some legal stuff. So the reason why is because some people cannot listen, um, watch the video on YouTube so they can listen it on Spotify or whatever. So it's almost finished and we made the first recording today and soon we'll try to upload every day on the podcast. So it's going to be fun. And yeah, like I said, if you want to support me or the channel or the stream or or community, just buy me some coffee. I'm not asking more than that. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want. So I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great.